Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about ex my experience in the US. I studied in the US for one year as an exchange student when I was in the senior year. So I just spent one year in the US, but I think I have something to share with you guys. So today's theme is my experiences in the US. I'm going to cover three categories. First, why I chose to run in the US. And second is hard aspect since i don't want to sugarcoat it i want to be honest and after that finally i'm gonna share enjoyable parts okay let's get started um i think a bunch of people have studied in the u.s or studying in the u.s so the reasons can vary one, uh, one person to another for me i was just lucky and i happened to have an opportunity to apply for studying in the US. There happened to be a program where I can study at a university in the US which offers foreign exchange students. I was I was seeking for some opportunities for studying in an international university. Um, I found the program in my university's homepage. Then I applied for that. I was on the fence to decide which international universities I'm gonna get enrolled in because um, I knew that the tuition for universities in the US is very expensive. So I considered some other alternative options like universities in Southeast region. After I applied for that, I was thinking what if I for competition so that's why I prepared some alternative options Malaysia in the Philippines but thankfully I was granted the permission to study as an exchange student what I like the most about the program is the tuition as I mentioned before the tuition for university in the US is much more expensive than that in Japan but I didn't have to pay the tuition for the university in the US as long as I pay the tuition for my university in Japan so technically I could study in the US you know the quality is very high and uh, very expensive with just the tuition for my university much cheaper one the gap between these tuitions are tremendously huge the annual tuition for the university in the u.s is 35k whereas that of my university in japan is 5k there's a huge difference between them right i was totally lucky of uh, being granted the permission so to wrap up I decided to run in the US because I was theory lucky being chosen as an exchange student. Okay, uh, forum topic is about hard aspects studying in the US. I've chosen two of the hardest experiences. One is I had to live with other students. You might think that, oh, isn't that program edit? You know, I would rather with other students than live, live alone. I told the way, I told that I was the, that kind of person but it wasn't that was not my stuff now i know that i am a type of person who want to clearly separate work and private life living with someone means like i have to speak english all the time i have to care about them even if they don't care about me i'm a kind of person i'm a sensitive person i've noticed them the reality is i hated this character and i wanted to fix it you know i thought that i would fix it living with someone very easy going or extra bored that was not my first time actually uh, i was hinted the possibility having that character when i studied in singapore and the philippines i found it difficult living with someone in singapore i lived with japanese so that was not that hard but when I studied in the Philippines, I lived with Saudi Arabian and Taiwanese. That was fun at the first several days, but after that, it was so stressful for me. Yeah, actually, I wanted to fix it, but I couldn't. I would freak out with someone who is not enough intimate. Now, I figured that the experience was worthwhile and uh, I embraced the character. Okay, the second how to sit is classes. When I went to the US, I was too enthusiastic to study subjects, not English, like biology, computer science. I was so hyped to study subject in English. So I wanted to enroll as many classes as possible. I even tried to register advanced classes, which require prerequisites. Let's say I, I want to register chemistry 3 and the chemistry 1, 2 are below them, right? So this chemistry 3 requires prerequisite of 
chemistry one two it's supposed to be finished before I take this one but i didn't have the time to finish those prerequisites because i had just one year studying there so i contacted the professor to ask them to consult with and uh, i persuaded them to grant me to take those classes i succeeded in convincing some classes but i couldn't uh, for some classes but anyway i registered a lot of classes then I, when i noticed i registered more classes than native native speakers take you know that was crazy as new semester starts i i barely kept up with classmates since every class entails a tons of homework which at least takes two hours respectively so i think i studied at least 12 8 12 hours a day so that was so tough you know i couldn't continue to studying that long time every day i didn't have day off i had to spend the whole time to catch up with classes so eventually i partake in events eating event so i was getting noticed that oh i think it is too much you know i ended up dropped out most classes i made up my mind to focus several classes one of them is computer science i didn't find difficulty working computer and when i have problem i asked my professor so that system is very efficient and i can do at my pace at that was the time i noticed what i'm good at even though i gave up most classes i studied very hard i went to my computer science professor's office like every day and asked what is this why is this wrong something like that that worked well but i found it very difficult keeping up with that many classes simultaneously after i realized that i had to discard some classes i felt depressed and uh, i was not in the mood for going outside uh, i couldn't go out for a while but after after a while i recovered i i've talked quite a long time so i'm gonna talk about um, positive aspect and journalable part in the next video thank you very much for watching this video today and I hope to see you in the next video. Okay, catch you later.